What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJTV. I've just finished up filming two days, or yesterday's, it's today as of the day of filming this, but it's yesterday's video. The My Protein video, hence the new tag and all this kind of stuff, I'm wearing some new My Protein gear, so go ahead and check that video out at the end of this one if you have not already. Today, we are going to be going through some of your questions. I put a poll up, a little poll thing on Instagram, we've got some good questions, so I'm going to be going out throughout my day and just answering them as we go along. Thank you so much to everyone who got involved. It's going to be a good one. Drop the video a like. And let's get it started. <laughs> Which is like my new favourite thing, I swear. It's like a mini full English breakfast for like 400 calories. Cheers. Mm. So tip number one, while I chow down on this, will be tips to grow your Instagram slash YouTube channel. Um, first off, thank you for asking me this because <laughs> It's a genuine honour. The fact that you feel like you can come to me for advice like that um, means a lot to me, so thank you. Mm. But, my advice, this was a terrible idea, hang on. My advice is to just post, just literally post. Don't overthink it, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, for you in TikTok, just make something that you think is kind of cool and, cr and create and post, just post it. Just post it. <laughs> like, don't overthink it. Don't think, oh, what will people think if it's what you want to do, post. Just do it. Just think about it, like if you throw enough shit, some of it will stick. If you upload enough stuff, someone out there is gonna like it, you know? Someone out there is gonna be voluntarily watching a small, puny, little, tiny human stuff his face with a meal prep ready meal. Mm-hmm. Someone out there is gonna do that. <laughs> Just be natural, enjoy it. And you can't go wrong, really. Ultimately, if you don't actually enjoy it, if it's not something that you love doing, you won't stick to it. So do what you enjoy, make what you enjoy, you know? For me today, that's me eating food. <laughs> Next question, would you train with fans? Um, for starters, I wouldn't call you guys fans. I, I'm not David Beckham or frigging Kim Kardashian. I just make a few videos every now and then. But yes, I do intend to train with you guys very, very soon when the gyms are open, when we can do the best gym series, all that kind of stuff. That is when that will make a return. So stay tuned for that. Next question, favorite exercise, shoulder press. Next question, this person knew the answer to the previous question. Favorite exercise apart from shoulder press. Um, that's a hard one because I enjoy pretty much everything, but I'd probably say a squat or a leg press because nothing can beat the shoulder press for me personally. This hands down the winner, but next best something, something powerful, you know, like a squat. I hate deadlifts though. Cracking open the Excite storage. Now I know what you're thinking, don't worry. Garage cold is the same thing as Tesco cold. Next task of the day is going to be us actually doing a little bit of a, little bit of a gym class, eh babe? 
Charlotte has been doing, in particular throughout lockdown, these kind of online classes. Her, like, person that she... Did, you did classes in person in Birmingham, yeah. right? But then this person now does online classes because COVID. So we're just going to do one of them. Something a little bit different for me. Bit of hit. Burn some cows on the old watch. I'm going to scare you. Liam's rubbish at hit classes because he's unfit. I'm not unfit. I'm the fittest man in the game. <laughs> Class Try brought them out. The veins in the back. It's nice. Bosh. Jobs are good in team. That's that. The sweat speaks for itself. Job well done, babe. High five me. Yes, nice work, babe, nice work. So, we're actually gonna go for a mini kind of walk slash fast walk slash kind of run right now just to burn a few more calories. We're doing 231. You can't see that, just take my word for it. Actually, it's 273 total. Oh, total? Two, 273 total. That's 245 total. <laughs> you, you know what that means? That means I'm working harder. No, you Yes, I did say burn. Ghost burn. Works wonders. Mixed with actually peach glow. We can in fact confirm that um, ghost burn does work. Uh, yeah, it does. Because it I does. work twice as hard as Liz. Hundred percent. I burn always burn more hard. calories, but noticeably not when I don't take ghost burn. I just don't brag about it. But anyway, I was going to try on a t-shirt now. Um, the old man actually bought us t-shirts. Um, but you'll just have to wait and see that for a little bit later when I'm not sweating. Because I'm not putting on a nice brand new t-shirt as soon as I'm sweating. Uh, it's back, people. The allergies, the hay fever is back. Go outside for five friggin' minutes to cool down and all of a sudden I just sound like this and just can't breathe out of my nose, my mouth, nothing. I, oh, it's awful, guys. This though, this stuff is actually called Beconase. Um, hay fever relief for adults, 0.05% nasal spray. If that helps anybody, um, I would highly recommend. Obviously the store brands and all that kind of stuff tend to be the same product um, anyway. But yeah, just something to relieve the, the, the congestion, you know? It's awful. Anyway, you guys see the title of today's video. That workout that we just did, it was supposed to be leg day. I kind of just did that class with Charlotte because, you know, it's just nice to do something like that together every now and then. But the actual title of this video specifically is something along the lines of I ruined my home gym, I broke my home gym, my home gym doesn't work anymore. Something along those kind of baity lines, you know. Some f it's, it's true. Let, let me explain. So, as you can see behind me, this is probably one of my favourite pieces of kit, right, ever. I, it's one of my favourite cables that I've ever used. I've been to a ton of gyms and stuff now. This is, is one of my favourite things, right? It's the key addition. Really kind of bulks out the gym without actually taking up any space. It hides away nicely in the corner, takes up very little space and is very functional. That's why it's called a functional adjustable pulley or, pulley or something along those lines, right? Alongside that, we have a half rack. We've got some power blocks here, adjustable dumbbells, leg press slash hack squat over in the corner. Um, ab machine and we've got a bike around the corner, leg extension, hamstring curl. It's a pretty decently kitted out gym now, right? But the one thing that I use without fail in every single session is this. And I've freaking broken it. Now I know what you're thinking, Liam, how the hell have you managed that? Well, I don't know. Um, well, I do know because the problem is, obviously this runs on cables. It's a set of cables, right? And this one that links up to this bit here it's supposed to be a cable that runs in there and screws in there and just slowly but surely over time without us really noticing it's kind of just come unscrewed and here it is but it needs putting back in and like 
the cables need adjusting and all this kind of stuff. It's like, it's not a five minute job, so it hasn't been done yet. But I was just training the other day. I was having that great session. You know that physique update kind of video that I did where I was posing and all this kind of stuff. I was just ready, getting ready for my chest flies. I had the camera set up. I was like, yes, okay, cool. In the zone, set, and boom. It, it, it just went, and I was just so confused. You, you can't look at that today. Obviously when you have a home gym like this, it's only like yourself or your family or your friends or whatever, especially right now, it's literally me, the old man and Charlotte using this. Like mum comes in here every now and then. So obviously when that is the case, you compare that, you compare like one, two people using it a day, maybe they have rest days if they don't, if they don't train on a Sunday or whatever. You know, it gets a lot less use than a commercial gym or, or the bodybuilders gym or whatever. It just gets used a lot less, regardless of how much I love training. I am not gonna outdo the amount of equipment usage of 500 people coming in and out of a gym every single day because I'm just here, I do my sets and then I leave, you know? So something like this just kind of happened over, over a few months, I guess. It just comes a bit loose when you're adjusting this or whatever. Um, and <laughs> I, felt, I felt really lucky. You know, when you have one of those moments like, Whew, I could have died. Bang, a shot was fired. Joey, with no regard for his own safety, throws himself on me. Oh my God, Joey. It was a car backfire. <laughs> yeah, but, but he didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. But I think it's a pretty simple fix. We just haven't got around to doing it yet. So um, that gave me a fantastic title for this video. So um, thank you, my loyal and trusty pulleys for doing that. I really, really appreciate it. You know, you've got, you've got to have good titles, good thumbnails in this game, you just do. I don't like calling videos stuff like this. I don't like the titles. <laughs> But it's just how it is, people. You just have to enjoy the video for what it is, regardless of what's what's on the title or whatever. Just take it as entertainment. That's how it's intended anyway, so. <laughs> this side still works perfectly fine. It'll come down like so. So you found me the other day, I was doing single arm pull downs instead of like a the dual. We usually use this, bu this bar here and put it across the top and I just sit down on the floor down there. Instead, I did the single arm, which I actually do um, every now and then anyway. So it's really not the end of the world just until it's kind of fixed. The only real thing that I'm missing is chest flies, but I just did those one handed as well. Um, if you can't have the space, if you don't have the space, sorry, for a double pulley, just get a single one because you can, you literally can do everything you can do with two, you just have to use one arm. It takes a little bit longer and it's a bit more of a pain in the ass, but so be it, you know? It's, it's, it's an awesome bit of kit and they do actually sell, um, it's called the Body Max something or other. Just go on powerhousefitness.com, that's where we got this. Um, they do do a single side, so um, definitely consider that. If you are short of space, however, having said that, it does literally, look how it just hides away in the corner there and you still have all of that floor space. We never had that before. There was a multi-gym here before this. So this multi-gym, you know, came out to here. It was it was just massive. Like, you know how big they are if you've got one. Whereas this can pretty much do everything that you can do on that, kind of. And then it takes up a hell of a lot less space. So, yeah. That's that. I hope you're enjoying this video. <laughs> All right, so we've cooled down now. <laughs> we've taken a minute and uh, we had some dinner. Had some chicken sat eye. It's chicken sat eye. Say what you want, it is chicken sat eye. I'm not caving in. It's spelt satay, yes, I, I know. But I'm, I'm sticking to my guns, okay? Sat eye, and I'm, I'm forever gonna say sat eye. It's just engraved in me for, for some freaking reason. Anyway, we've not sat here for a while, have we? How cool is this? I'll tell you why we've not. Because these people um, that live just down there, I uh, love a good stare up uh, while I'm talking to the camera, so I kind of just stopped doing it because I got bored of being looked at and I couldn't concentrate properly. And you know when someone is just literally just, they just won't look away. I'm like, yes, I know it's weird. I'm talking to a camera, but please just let me do my thing. I'm in my own bedroom. Long story short, this like fencing panel that is here uh, wasn't there before. It was just a six foot fence, this bit here uh, that runs along there. We've added this and we're gonna add side bits that kind of just cove in the whole decking area there. Um, just think it will be a nice, cool little, you know, modern type decking area in the, in the garden really. 
Um, I think it's going to be painted like a, a dark grey or a charcoal or, or something like that. It'll look cool. The old man will make it look cool. So. We have here a package, the one that I mentioned earlier from Legend of London. So we picked up, I believe, two t-shirts, the same t-shirt, one each. I think they're like a heavy kind of cotton, like premium field type tee. Um, but I haven't had anything new from Legend London for a good year or so. And the last thing I had was a new pair of jeans. And I just, I just love them. Anywhere that I go, whether it's a nightclub, because I'm like to the pub, not lately. Anywhere I go, this feels lovely. Anywhere I go, I uh, I wear them. <laughs> you know the situations where you have to wear jeans? I'm a shorts, very much a shorts kind of guy. I wear shorts pretty much everywhere if I can. Damn, this feels nice. But if I have any jeans or now a nice swish plain tee, I really like this small logo. I like minimal branding, minimal branding. If you know, you know. So this is it on me in a size medium. Fits nicely around the old guns, around the back and around the side. Friggin' sick tea. Okay, next question. And actually, let's make this the final question. Okay, um, let's pick a good one that I haven't answered. Which one did I say I was going? Oh yeah, on that note, are you working on any other projects, ATM, e.g. businesses um, and merch and all this kind of stuff? Yes and no. Like no, because it's not moving because COVID, I haven't done anything about it. And um, the person that I usually use, has been closed, and so I haven't done anything about it, to be honest. Um, but yes, I will be bringing out merch again fairly soon. I'm thinking hoodies or sweatshirts, uh, and maybe some more t-shirts, maybe some like baseball hats, you know, I love me a hat. Something like that, along those lines, I don't know. I'll be putting polls up on my Instagram, so if you are interested, stay tuned on my Instagram, linked in the description box if you're not following, LSJ underscore fitness. Go and shoot me a follow, and you can vote on the polls, which I'll put up over the next kind of three or four days. I do them a few times to get a good idea of sizing and, and how many people are actually gonna buy them. And it went really, really well last time. So hopefully we can have another good run um, over the next kind of couple of months or so. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do me a massive favor, drop it a like, drop it a comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the team. We have nearly 3000 people as part of our sick little family right now which I think is pretty cool. So share it around, share it with your friends, share it with your nan, sisters, dogs, cousins, auntie. I don't care who. Let's get to 3K in the next couple of weeks. That'd be sick. Thank you all so much for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one.